Greetings and salutations. It's Jason, the Wounded Healer. And as you can see, I'm shooting this in front of my collection of VHS tapes, which a lot of them are action movies and pro wrestling tapes from the 1980s. So why is that significant to a, a fitness channel? It means I'm probably not going to be demonstrating an exercise in this video. And there are some videos that I shot that are going to air on my channel that I shot before this video. So this is a little out of sequence, but the, the uh, content is following up with a promise on a previous video that I make. So I want to follow through with that before I, I change the direction of this channel of some of the stuff that I'm going to do. So I mentioned I would talk about my, my diet. So as you can see, you can kind of see, I'm not, I'm not going shirtless yet, but my face looks a little bit different in this video than if you look at the first few videos on this channel. And my, my shoulder definition, it's hard to see because this light is, is not that great, uh, but I'm leaning out. And I am happy I've been leaning out in this time where, where we've been quarantined for the most part, as I, I know it's, it's challenging. And I want to tell you a little bit about what I've done, my own process. Again, I am not someone who's selling my lifestyle to you. I, I just want to share more things that I've experienced and encourage you on your own paths and, and your own journey. So I'll tell you a little bit about what I've done in the past when I've leaned out, when it's worked for me, and why I did not do that and I'm not going with that same mentality this time around. So in the past, if I wanted to get lean because I was feeling insecure, and I'll be honest, that's usually... Where it comes from, it's usually because I'm feeling insecure about my body that I would want to lean out. I would usually do something extreme. I, I would restrict my diet severely. I've, I've tried many different eating modalities, intermittent fasting. I've done a ketogenic diet. Um, and and when, I, when I have decided to do something like that, I would be all in. And then I would just crush it in my, my exercise, just go out there and just gradually try to ramp up my intensity and just punish myself until I looked the way I wanted to look, or at least as close to it as I could. And it worked, but what I found when I went extreme in something, it was not sustainable. And last time I posted a picture that was on my Facebook page and on... Uh, I put it on, it was like one of the first pictures when I started an Instagram account. And it's probably the leanest I've, I've ever been in my life. And I lost that pretty fucking quick because uh, it, the way I got there, even though it took me a while, like towards the end, it was the stuff I was doing to, to just get my abs to show up was, was not sustainable. So I, uh, I decided this time, there, I'll be honest again, the, the, uh, the tendency or the idea, because I was in isolation, was there. I said, okay, you know, I'm just going to fast and punish myself because it's just me and, I, and I'm going to just get, try to get as shredded as I possibly can, as quick as I can. But I was juggling a lot. You know, I was trying to, to manage a personal training business, keep my clients going, and I was a little afraid, you know. I, you know, I was going through a breakup, um, like like I didn't know it at the time, but but like, you know, my my girlfriend was not happy with me as we were just moving in in different directions emotionally, and uh, I, yeah, that that was another another thing that was I was not expecting that was emotionally tough, so. I, I said, you know, I, I need to be honest with myself and honor these feelings that I'm going through in this time. And I was a little afraid just because I didn't know what was going to happen. Still don't know what's going to happen when I'm making this video. But 
I, I didn't want to just punish myself day in, day out. So when, when I was first making these videos, I still had a lot more sugar in my diet. And what I did over the weeks was I gradually cut that out. I was also eating out. There were still restaurants open the first week of, of the quarantine. And when I would, I, I, I worked at a, a local gym and I just got in the habit of, of eating out because I was just too tired to make my own food and, and just didn't prioritize that in my time when I could do that. And I know that's that's the opposite advice you hear from from people in the fitness space who are usually obsessed with meal prep. But I didn't do that. I ate out a lot, spent a lot of money eating out. I ate relatively healthy. I was pretty aware of of what I chose, so I, I was not not eating things that were super calorically dense. But my my calorie intake at that time and and some of the choices I made were not the most conducive things to stay in lean. So uh, the the next week, my favorite place is closed down. And I said, okay, this is a great opportunity to start getting back into meal prep and being mindful of what I'm going to intentionally put in my body on a, another level. Because I was before, even when I was eating out, but I just took it to another level. And... I, I said, I'm just not going to have any sugar or, or just limit the amount of sugar I'm going to have week to week. And so that was the start. I, I, I drank sodas before, not every day, but, but more than it was conducive for me to stay lean. And you're going to hear me say that, that phrase, more than conducive it was for me to stay lean. I'll, I'll say that a lot in this video. And... Each week, I, I, I gradually gave up something and replaced it with something else. So something that was, that was uh, not conducive for me to stay lean, and then replacing that food with something that promoted me getting lean. So I, I ate cheese and crackers. I had those as snacks that first week, and then I eventually phased the crackers out to sprouted bread and I eventually phased out of, of bread and crackers all together and most of my meals consisted of high protein I, I, ha I would get ground beef and, and just make a stir fry with vegetables with onions with bell peppers and uh, spinach, and that was most of my meals. And then some weeks I would have chicken, just have a different protein. I would make omelets, and and I ate. I I did a form of intermittent fasting. It was not intentional for weight loss. It was just more for time because I I did my training sessions with my clients in the morning, and it was just easier for me to eat after those were done. So I I went from eating three or four times a day to just eating twice a day. So immediate restriction in calories. And just adjusted my meals so that I would be full and not want a snack. But that's pretty much it. Again, like no no huge uh, macro counting. Just gradually reducing the hyper palatable foods that were not conducive to weight loss. So phasing out of cheese and crackers the first week. Then uh, go, switching that the crackers to Ezekiel bread. And then... After about four weeks, I phased out of bread altogether, and I'm still getting leaner. Again, then just getting to where most of my diet is just meat and vegetables, and then I eventually phased, reduced the amount of cheese other than in the omelets that, that I eat for my first meal. And uh, now that's about where I'm at. So I've reintroduced some carbohydrates on a couple of days, and I'm seeing great benefit from that. So just now, I've, I've leaned up some, and my activity has is, is changed, so it's actually benefiting me to have some, some uh, more dense, starchy, or complex carbohydrates from breads, but not an everyday thing. So 
This is my long ramble of a diet video, which I'm not going to edit. I'll, I'll do a, a talk about my activity in a coming video, but for those who stuck with this, I hope you gain some insight. So I'll give you, again, just let me summarize here. Nothing crazy. I just gradually, week after week, reduced foods that are promoting fat storage on me, which for me is like first sugars, and then gradually reducing carbohydrates from bread, processed carbohydrates, just getting most of my carbs from vegetables, and then reducing other processed foods like cheese. So most of my diet is just meats and vegetables. And that's working great for me. May not be the thing for you. So if it is for you, I'm glad I could provide some enlightenment. Jason the Wounded Healer saying adios.